Welcome to Community Conversations. I am Queen Miss Ebony J. You're listening and watching 1230 The Bulls, your talk station, 101.1 The Wiz and 100.3 since it's R&B station. I'm so glad to be here today to just again have a community conversations with you. On Sundays is my favorite part of the week because I get to come in and connect with nonprofit organizations who are truly, truly passionate about making a difference in our community. And today I have it here with me, Miss Little who is the queen behind excellence ignited how are you doing queen i'm great how are you thanks for having me today it's definitely a pleasure oh yes it's always a pleasure i'm glad we was able to link up tell everybody in case they have never heard of your organization what is excellence ignited and what is it that you all do so excellence ignited is a nonprofit. um we are out in the community helping Young adults ages 10 to 18, um, just self-sufficiency, uh, resilience, and then providing also non-traditional career paths. Because we understand like, you know, after high school, college may not be a thing for everyone. So if they come with our program, they're able to explore different career paths that does not require uh, additional education. Oh, yes, that's dope. Because, you know, a lot of kids right now, when you mention college, they like, uh uh, I don't got to do that. Which we know education is still important, but it's so very important that they understand the other opportunities. And so that's what you all do. Um, what made you decide to start this organization? So uh, initially, um, I started the organization just off the strength of my kids. So I do have two um, two boys, 19 and 14. And I realized earlier on, like, um, you know, the generation of kids, there's a sense of entitlement. There's no hustle and bustle. So uh, just exposing them to giving back and one, allowing them, uh, well, having them recognize the importance of the things that they have and stop talking about what they don't have because, uh, you know, there's others out here that's less fortunate that would love the opportunities that they have. So, you know, just giving back to my community, one, I'm big on uh, helping the youth. Um, you know, I was involved in youth, uh, little league football. So my passion started there and then the need, it just grew. Um, and one thing I will say with our programs, two things that we always instill, uh, financial literacy and mental health, who are the biggest things in the uh, Black community that we kind of don't talk about. Oh, yeah, both of them. How does the kids kind of, um, how do they accept these conversations, should I say? Actually, um, the, the kids are, are dairy, they're, they're very appreciative for the conversations. One, because, um, you know, they go back, they leave our sessions and they talk about it with their, their parents. So it's open. The parents want to come. Uh, they also come to us as well to see how they can get the financial literacy and mental health piece. So, you know, yes, this is a youth driven uh, program. However, it's very family orientated because in order for us to be successful, we have to have the parents buy in to what we're teaching their kids and then also allow them that opportunity to uh get the same resources that we're providing their kids. So we can't talk money uh, with young adults if we're not providing that opportunity with our parents. So our parents get the financial literacy coaching. If they're um, interested in you know, mental health services as well, we branch out and we work with uh, a mental health specialist to get them those services too. That is dope. So how do we join or how do you all decide on um, who can be members because I see you all have a board and team members but I know you also you know mentor the young youth so what are the qualifications so um about every six months we do uh do a social media blast where you know we invite people who would like to you know be a part of the program uh there is an application process and in that application process we do interview uh our parents and kids so uh, because everything is free we have to make sure every uh it's a good fit uh, both the kid and parent because it's commitment on both ends um you know if 
for one one reason or another, you're not selected for the program and you would like to know more feedback, we definitely provide that feedback. And if you would like to just do the different opportunities uh, with us, you're able to do that. So um, again, it's like family oriented. Um, so it has to be, we're big on commitment. Um, and that's, that's one thing that I love about our families, um, you know, there's a lot of organizations out here doing the work, but if you have that uh, rapport with your the the parents and the child, and it's not just okay, you're in our program for these six months, and then after six months you don't hear from us. No, it's a lifetime access, um, and I like to tell people all the time, uh, excellence ignited. We are a nonprofit, um, but we try to get away from the we're a brand or organization because. Uh, this is my purpose. This is my calling. So it's something higher than, you know, a following. I don't, I don't need, like, we don't need followings or anyone to back us. Like when God puts something on you and that's, you just order, you follow your steps. Yeah. I love it. And I know when I was on your site, I, I noticed that you all have done so much with giving back, um, not just to the youth because you've done, you service many youth over the years, but you've given back to those experiencing homelessness and provided um, hairstyles, free hairstyles for those in need. Let's talk about some of those initiatives that you all have been doing. It's just um, part of our program, uh, community service and giving back, uh, the, the satisfaction that we see in our kids that, you know, may have never uh, given back before. Uh, and, and we do the care packages and feeding the less fortunate. The conversations afterwards, it's like, Miss Toya, we have to do that again when we're gonna do it again. Uh, and right now, Black History Month. So another one of the things we do, we give back to uh, black owned child care centers and home providers. So we provide uh, a unique set of books during Black History Month so that, you know, that center can educate the younger kids on, on Black history, just because that's one thing that isn't talked about much in school as well. So we kind of teach them early and then build on that. Which is so important. You know, they're trying to get rid of books. Yes. yes. Black, I normally don't even try to get into that, but with it being Black History Month, like how do you get to go back and say a book is banned? How do you ban a book? You know, one of my kids um, took him to school this morning, actually, he was like, Miss Toya, you know, um, my teacher doesn't know what to teach us in Black history. So uh, yesterday she taught us about slaves. And I was like, why are we bringing up slavery during Black, Black History Month? So we're going to. They don't mm -hmm. want. Black History Month talk because that's where everybody's mind go when it's time to talk about Black History Month. But like, look at the world. Black people do amazing things. Is that so hard to say out your mouth that a Black man invented the light? And if yeah. we didn't have the, a Black man that we would all just be in traffic all the time, not being able to move? Like, is that so hard to admit? Yes, yes, it is. It's, it's crazy that you mentioned the light portion. Um, my son, he's 19. He actually uh, wrote a rap song and recorded it in reference to, you know, who actually created the lights. So it, it, it's like, you know, yes, we, we know about Martin Luther King and Harriet Tubman, but there's other amazing Black people that's a part of Black history. Let, let's talk about about it. You hear me? Let's talk about how do we have a magazine now? How do we have technology? Like we do amazing things and it's okay to talk about it. So I think that's truly amazing that you're keeping our babies informed. You're having those tough conversations. Um, but I'm so sad to see that they, they still feel the need to teach us about slavery because yes. we, we've lived it. We're done talking about it. We forgave y'all. Let it go and talk about how great we are. That's all we wanted to be recognized for the great things that we've done. Y'all done stole everything. They tried to anyway, right? Yes. Still fighting for land, still fighting for rights to stuff, you know, but it's like, let it go. So yeah, I done went on that tangent for Black History Month. Sorry, y'all. This is Community Conversation. <laughs>
So, so up there, the was your talk station 101.1, the Wiz and 100.3, Cincy's RB station. I am Queen Miss Ebony J. Um, love to come in for community conversations, and it's always a pleasure when I get a chance to talk to amazing queens. So, we have in here today Miss Latoya Hall, who is the CEO and founder of Excellence Ignited. And the reason we call it that is because she really does ignite the excellence in our students and all the people that she serves. Now, the goal is not to just make sure that they receive mentorship and support, but to show them and make sure that they develop real, true skills. And we left off talking about, you know, the fact that your program gives the financial literacy piece as well as, oh, shoot, it didn't slip my mind that quick. But I know the financial literacy piece was in there. Yes, financial literacy and mental health. Yes, and mental health. Now, both of those things are very important to what African-Americans are facing and the reason why we are struggling with prevailing because we do spend money in the wrong places. And when it comes to mental health, we're always told to be strong. So we're not working like we're not taking care of ourselves. When you're working with the babies, you know, what do you see seem to be their mental health challenges? Because I feel like as adults, we kind of are challenged with just balance, maybe, or uh, we're challenged with the things that we're in taking, but what do they seem to struggle with the most? Just being misunderstood. Um, you know, a lot of times as adults, we, you know, come to our kids and say, hey, that music that you're listening to, uh, why are you listening to it? Like, it, sometimes the, the kids can actually break down that music that they're listening to. Um, it's not about, you know, them being depressed. It's just what's going on right now. But what we like to teach our young adults is, you know, the mu music that you listen to, just know that they're doing that uh, as entertainment. It's nothing that you have to act out. Uh, you know, the popular music right now is drill music. So it's a whole, whole lot of, you know, shoot them up, bang, bang. I tell people, you know, I, I tell them all the time, hey, I listen to the NBA young boys. I listen to them. Money bag, yo, there's no joke. Stop, Miss Latoya. Yes, like I, I listen to it all. Like, so it's like being able to have an adult that they can relate, uh, relate to and they feel safe and, you know, confiding into, you know, what their ev everyday struggles is. Now, uh, you know, a, a lot of kids, they just struggle with being accepted. So they do things that fit in. And I was like, you know, you're not meant to to fit in. You're meant to stand out. You can be a leader and you can change the narrative. You can. And it's it's all of, like you have the power, but do you have the courage and the strength to be powerful? Because that's the hard part. Yes, it's inside of us, but that's why you got to ignite it. Because if you don't ignite it, we just going to sit here thinking, we can't be, you know, it's, it's not easy when, when you're standing alone. It's hard when you're standing out. So right, that right. feel good, especially as a kid. I mean, oh my goodness, it was not a good feeling. I tell people that all the time. For me, being a kid was like the darkest time because I was that lame girl still going home, writing those books and teaching my teddy bears with myself, right? But now I'm in media and everything I was doing back then, my friends see me and they laugh because they're like, it all makes sense why I was that lame person. But you got to stand out. Yes. You gotta, yeah, I see y'all over there. I'll be back. See you later. Like that was me at NKU walking to the radio station while it's a hundred deep in the circle and everybody's chilling. I'm going to the radio station to do my show and I don't care who's listening. I just know that's where I'm going to be at because it's going to be me one day, you know? So I think that that is so important that we're getting them to see that they can be self-sufficient, that they can, you know, increase their livelihood, their right now situations. Um, You know, sometimes they're often... Um, looking around and seeing what everybody else is living like and think that that's life. What kind of things do you all do with them inside the community? Is there any field trips, um, any tours for college? Like what kind of things do you do to help them see life's past where there are? So we actually provide uh, hands-on like work opportunities. Um, we get them to a point where, you know, their confidence and they're confident with them themselves and they can go to a workplace to get that, you know, actual interaction uh, outside of the employment piece. We just partner with other organizations that has the same motto and, and vision that we have. 
so that they can see the broader uh, spectrum. We are looking to, you know, implement college tours for uh, our students that are interested in college because right now we do have uh, about six, uh, six young adults that are in their freshman year of college. And, and these young adults uh, that are in college now, I've probably been working with them since they were about uh, 10 years old. So again, it's like a lifetime access. Uh, it's not your traditional programming where you're with a program for six months. And then after that six months, it's adios. Right. Like we, I we definitely follow, uh, you know, our kids as long as they allow us to. And that then uh, the parents are definitely appreciative of it. I bet they are, too. It's like having a god mama, okay? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we pull up to, you know, their sporting events. Like, we just try to be supportive in any way possible um, and, and just be that, that positive outlet and, and just uh, a, another outlet and another adult that's not their parents that they can come to talk to. And that's what they need. I tell people all the time, that's what saved me. You know, your parents just see you one way. No matter what you do, you just in this straight or narrow box and they don't get mm -hmm. the other side. But when you go and talk to a, you know, a stranger or a trusted advisor, you know, they can give you the real and still give you the right advisement to where you're not going to make those mistakes, you know. So I think, I'm, I'm, hats off, Queen. Hats Thank off, to you keep it going tell us before you go how we can donate or possibly volunteer so yes you can visit our website uh, our website is excellenceignited.org you can donate there and then also uh if you would like to volunteer learn more about our program or get your uh young adults involved you definitely can shoot us an email and we're very responsive on um responding to all emails so we try to respond to our emails within 48 hours excellent ignited.org head on over make sure you go and connect donations are accepted read about the organization check out the beautiful photos they have up to see all the great things that they've done with the babies in the community miss latoya i know you are already at an event up and getting going with the baby so i appreciate you for taking time out to talk to me i hope you have a great day you too thank you so much for the interview no problem. This is Community Conversations on 1230 The Buzz, your talk station, 101.1 The Wiz and 100.3 since he's R&B station. If you would like to be a guest, all you got to do is slide in my DMs or head on over to our website and register. We are always looking for nonprofits to bring on to talk about all the great things that they're doing. So if you have any resources that can benefit our audience, please let us know. Happy Sunday. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.